the holidays are quickly approaching, and that means so is the family and in laws and people in your home looking at your floors. You might want to clean that up. Getting ready for that giant dinner and that get together and gathering, you probably want to make sure everything is looking spruce for your family. So to do that, we're going to help you with today's video. Best way to clean the worst floor stains before the holidays. Hey, hey, it's me again with Big Bob's and I'm here to talk about how to get the worst stains out of your floors for the holiday. Before we spill on how to get rid of these stains, make sure you like the video and subscribe to see even more great content like this. We have a whole library, check it out below. And every week we're putting out new content. Hardwood cleaning, laminate cleaning, vinyl cleaning, porcelain cleaning, ceramic cleaning, carpet cleaning. If you need to do cleaning, it's in this video. Warning, do not under any circumstances use vinegar or anything with a high acidity like bleach on your floor. It doesn't usually end well for the floor. The reason you don't want to use this high acidity products is because while it gets the stain out, it also gets the color and the finish out of your floor, which means they're more likely to stain in the future and also lose their appearance and then you've got to replace them. So try to avoid using those products. Hardwoods are one of the trickier floors to clean because hardwoods are natural, meaning they want to pull moisture in, meaning the wrong cleaners can cause some serious defects in the floor. So we've got to be careful to make sure you use the right one. We suggest a specifically formulated solution for hardwoods like Bona or Capture. These companies have made products that are designed for hardwood. Make sure that it says it has done that. And we also want to make sure by consulting the local expert at the store you're buying with that the acidity level is low on that product. It's especially important with hardwood. Finally, make sure the product is Green Guard approved because Green Guard means it doesn't have any harmful toxins, admissions, anything of that nature, so that once you clean your floor, your pets and your family can enjoy it without having to worry. Vinyl tile, ceramic tile, porcelain tile, all of these floors have very similar cleaning recommendations. So let's discuss those. These floors are more durable and water resistant, and that means we can use a little bit more laid back approach when it comes to cleaning. In fact, in a pinch, soap and water actually can be used to clean these floors fairly effectively. For those tough stains, we again want to find something with a low acidity. For the porcelain and ceramic, it's because of the grout. Grout can discolor if oversaturated, and it also can discolor if there's a high acidity product that can actually erode the grout around the tile. On the vinyl plank, you don't want to use the high acidity because again, it can eat through that wear layer on the surface, which can cause scratching and discoloration problems in the future. We're going to recommend you clean it with soap and water as this is an effective way to do this in a pinch. If you're looking for something with a little bit more bite for getting out those tougher stains, again, reference Bona or Captures products as they do have something for porcelain tile, ceramic, and vinyl plank. Carpet is the next product that you probably will want to clean for the holidays. Vacuuming is an important start, but what about those tough stains? First, blot the stains. Don't rub. If you're rubbing it, all you're doing is taking that stain and taking it below the surface, and then it's going to be a lot harder to get out. That's why you want to blot gently when removing those stains. That's a good first place to start. If that doesn't work, then you're going to want to use a powder pail. Capture makes a really good version of this. The powder pail is designed to pull moisture in, so it's best used close to or immediately after the stain. Although if it is not, they make a pre spray that will return the moisture to the stain, which then will allow you to use the powder pail. After letting it sit for about five minutes, you can vacuum it up and repeat as necessary until the stain is removed. And when it comes to vacuuming, check the height of your beater bar. If the height is set too low, it can actually damage the carpet and it can actually counteract the natural bounce back of the carpet and the way that it lays. When we say that, we talk about the carpet's retention to texture. In layman's terms, that means where it stands up and looks nice and it's not matted down. So be careful to not use a beater bar that's not set appropriately to the height of your carpet. Laminate is one of the most scratch resistant floors, but for the longest time, a lot of laminate floors were not built with any moisture resistance. In fact, they actually were quite porous even in instances more so than hardwood. There are new laminate floors that have water resistance and waterproof, but you still have to be generally careful how you choose 
to clean these floors. I would not recommend soap and water, even if it says your laminate is waterproof. Rejuvenate All Floor Restorer is one great product for cleaning laminate. Rejuvenate is especially good for buffing out those scratches and imperfections in your floor. And that can be helpful with a product like laminate that's designed to take some abuse. In addition, Rejuvenate Restore actually adds some UV radiation protection, which helps from exposure to sunlight. And this product is Green Guard Gold certified, so it is safe for your family, your pets, and your floors. Microfiber mops for any of the hard surface floors is the best choice, and that's because they're designed not to scratch the floor. There's no part of that mop that's designed to do that, while also being able to get into any texture in the floor whether that be something that was embossed in the finish or if it's got grout, microfiber mop is going to be the best choice. Remember, cleaning tools can help get stains out, but they can also damage your floor. So be careful what you choose to use and make sure you do your research first. And once again, if it's got a high acidity, vinegar, bleach, just don't use it. Maintaining and cleaning your floor properly is the best way to get the longest life out of it. And also make sure you're not ridiculed by your family during the holidays. So make sure you're prepared for when they come over soon. What stain are you worried about your family seeing these holidays? Comment below and ask us if you need help with how to get it out of your floor. We're here and we're always happy to answer your questions.